usually when I'm describing you to people, I usually say like, if Keith Richards got his shit together. How good is that coffee? Mmm. That coffee real good? It's delicious. Hello, so we're in West Philadelphia. No, we're not. It's in West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playgrounds where I spend most of my days. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Da -da -da. It's not unusual. So today we're in Philadelphia and we are at Eastern State Penitentiary. Which is kind of famous because it's the first penitentiary in the world, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Um, it was closed in the early 70s. We just had a look around and a nice walk around. Um, Al Capone's cell is just around the corner. I'll show you that in a second. And yeah, so we're going to have a little walk around the prison and show you around. And so as you can see in Al Capone's cell, it goes to show that crime really does pay. <laughs> by watch our criminal justice system continue to consume, confine, and define our young men. I say we take a stand and fight for justice now. In, back in the 30s, my great grandfather and his brother had a hot dog stand over in um, center in the center of uh, Philadelphia, and they they uh, one day my uh, great grandfather brought some uh, some steak and fried it up on his grill, and a cab driver saw it and he said like, hey, why don't you make me one of these instead of the hot dogs? And he had it, and he said, well, why don't you guys sell this instead of hot dogs? These are way better. So since 1930. Pat Steaks has been the originator of the Philly cheesesteak and all these other places have sprung up around them and Geno's has been in business since the 70s and so they've always been a, like a friendly rivalry between Pat Steaks and Geno's Steaks across the way. So people come from all over the world to see like what a cheesesteak is all about and they always go to uh, both of them just to see like which one they like better. Amazing. Yeah. And this is uh, your mom's new house? Yeah. It's We're in right now. House. I'll yeah, just quickly she, show um, you around. Yeah. Yeah, she built this house about two years ago um, and she moved back to Philadelphia. And this is the huge living room where we are right now. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Wrapping up his kids in lessons from the old school, breaking up. 
up the train ride Really out of town Where I could never live Sit opposite the windlass Travelling for Easter So when you reach the end now Things you read on Jesus Injected in your can Sits mirror of the man Still can't escape the feeling Polar to the reading A message in the meaning Can I watch the healing? The countryside's appealing Alright, so I'm back in New York City, um, just very briefly, I've just taken a bus back from Philadelphia um, and I've got a half hour layover here in New York um, before I take an eight hour bus ride up north to Canada. Um, so it's time now to grab a coffee and then go find this next bus. So we'll see how that is. Um, So here we are in um, Montreal, Montreal, Quebec, right? Yes. And we're having a little picnic. Here we are, a little picnic in old Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> I have my beautiful tour guide right here. He's going to be showing me around all day <laughs> and like looking around Montreal. And we just stopped for a little bit of kind of like rice and uh, what's in this? Describe it to me. Uh, lentils, got? zucchini, onions, ginger. There's mm -hmm. red peppers. Uh, mm -hmm. Orange peppers. Oh, things good, right? And garlic. And garlic. Lots and lots of garlic. Lots of good. Alors, nous marchons sur la rue Saint Paul dans le vieux port de Montréal. Okay, and so what that means is we're in um, Tokyo, Japan. No, I'm kidding. We're in um, <laughs> we're in Montreal in Canada, walking down Saint Paul. Street? St. Paul, yeah. St. Paul Street. <laughs> having a look around the old Montreal, which is very beautiful and very old, don't you know? which was once used as a parliament building and then was used as the city hall of Montreal and then was also used as a general market for about a hundred years. Fantastic, thank you very much. You ready to do your homework? Look at this. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, so ready. All right. There you go. Yes, little bad boy here. Yeah? Oh, caramel, yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's tip this bad boy. Tell me how good it is, right? There right, you go first. first. Time? So your first ever churros. How good is this? Oh my god. It's good? Oh yeah. Yeah. Vegan churros with a little caramel dip, cinnamon stuff inside. Um, I'm going to see how they taste. Are they good? Yes, I can like caramel. I absolutely made it. <laughs> plan for today apart if we're just gonna what are we doing right now what <laughs> having is a little coffee in the hot tub you know just coffee gotta, in the hot tub gotta start the day off right <laughs> there's worse places to be right 
Hey guys, so that's the end of vlog 3. It's my last night here in Montreal in Canada. Um, I'm going to get this vlog done and then kind of chill tonight and tomorrow daytime because tomorrow night I'm going to be jumping on a bus and heading back down south into the States and where you're just going to have to watch next week's vlog to discover where that is. But it's going to be somewhere pretty cool. Um, I've had a great time here in Montreal, Canada. Everyone's been super nice and super friendly, so thanks to everyone I've met. Um, we had a great day today. We were running around on the bikes in the local area and kind of running around this beautiful lake and stuff, so that was really, really nice. Um, and yeah, so if you're watching this, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you love it, click subscribe and leave a comment and all that good stuff. Meanwhile, um, have a great week and I'll see you next week. So for now, as they say in uh, Quebec, Au revoir.